This is Seven National News and in our top story. The Arab world will experience economic, political and social changes that require governments to adopt flexible and wise policies to cope with them. As stated by the UA Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The ruler's comments came in a statement made ahead of the opening of the Arab Strategy Forum today, which said that politicians, economists and intellectuals are also required to look for answers to the future and the changes they will bring. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed was quoted as saying that part of investing in the future is to invest in foreseeing it and to prepare the tools and plans for it. He added that in order to succeed in this rapidly changing world, we need a clear long-term vision and flexible and short-term evolving plans. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed said that the UA had become an economic and political force in the region and the world because we had a head start in studying the future and its implications. He added that we are a part of an extremely complex region a well-connected global economy and a fast-changing world of technology. Therefore, there is more needed to invest in the future. The Arab Strategy Forum is discussing the main expected political and economic changes in both the Arab world and globally, in addition to mapping the main influential powers and major economic trends. A new route for the Dubai tram launched today, allowing passengers to make shorter trips within the Dubai Marina, Jumeirah Lakes Towers and the Jumeirah Beach Road areas. The new route covers the loop that the tram makes between stations 1 and 4. Mohammed al Mudharab, the Director of Rail Operations at the Road and Transport Authority, was quoted as saying that there will be the big loop, which serves all the stations, and there will be a smaller loop, which serves stations one to four. From stations JBR one and two, JLT station three, and Dubai Marina Mall station four, the tram will pass every six minutes, serving four stations in that direction. Almud Harab added that there will be two trams at any given time circling at the smaller loop and one tram at any given time on the remaining track. This means that there will be a headway of six minutes at stations one to four, while there will be a headway of 12 minutes at stations five to 11. He also revealed that off the back of a number of studies, the most popular stations so far are JLT and Dubai Marina, and that the tram is most popular between 5 to 8 p.m. 1.7 million passengers have passed through smart gates at the Dubai International Airports, That's according to Dubai Immigration Authorities. Major General Mohammed Al Mari, the Director General of the General Directorate of Residency and Foreigners Affairs in Dubai, was quoted in a local daily as saying that up to 530,000 people have registered in the immigration smart gates so far which is a free campaign that's open until December the 22nd from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Almari stated that all Emiratis and residents that are over 17 can register their biometrics and are urged to take the free service, which normally costs over 200 dirhams and may only be availed at the immigration headquarters or external centres. He added that more than 100 e-gates are installed at Terminal 1 and 2 of the Dubai International Airport, while smart gates are available at Terminal 3 for residents over 17 with free registration and activation. Smart gates help pro process check-in and out transactions at the arrival and departure counters in just 14 seconds, which is aimed at easing passenger traffic as 78 million passengers are expected to use the Dubai International Airport in 2015 and 103 million by 2020. From the 1st of January, residential consumers over in the capital will see a new tariff for their water and electricity bills. Different consumption bands will be issued. Those with a low consumption will be given a green band category and a red band will be used for high consumption. According to a local daily, an official was quoted as saying that expats using up to 700 litres of water per day in apartments and 5,000 litres a day in villas will fall under the green band and pay a tariff of 5 dirhams and 95 fills per 1,000 litres. 
If they exceed this limit, a higher tariff under the red band will be applicable for the excess consumption only, not for the entire usage. Expats under the green band will face around a 170% increase in water tariff from the existing two dirhams and 20 fills per 100 litres to 595. Sharjah has so far achieved a 67% diversion rate of waste to landfill to be recycled this year, up from 53% in 2012 and around 62% last year. The figures come as the Emirate aims to divert 100% of its waste from landfill and become one of the first cities globally to do so. Sharjah is the only Emirate in the UA to launch a residential recycling program to promote waste segregation under the name of BR, which is also looking to develop the world's largest waste to energy gas plant in the Emirate. Marwan Al Shamsi, the UAE, UAE Director of Collections and Cleaning Business in BR, was quoted as saying that by 2015, the largest portion of waste collected will be recycled, followed by uh, composted materials, and finally, transforming waste materials to energy through the plant. The company has also set to over 1,700 three-stream recycling touch points for residents in order to encourage the community to separate their, their recyclable waste into three streams, paper, plastics and cans, and general waste. And finally, looking to other news now, the lineup of 20 Arab superstars have been announced for a series of performances during the 20th edition of the Dubai Shopping Festival. The Dubai Festivals and Retail Establishment have announced a mega concert series under the title of DSF Celebration Nights, which will be the biggest of its kind in the region. Some of the famous Arabic singers include Saudi singer Mohammed Abdo, Emirati superstar Hussein Al Jazmi, Egyptian pop superstar Amir Diab, Emirati heroine Akhlam, internationally renowned Lebanese singer Nancy Ajram, Lebanese recording artist Elisa, Iraqi singer Majed Mohandes, and many more. The concerts will be held at the Dubai Media City Amphitheatre, and the month-long DSF will start on January the 1st under the theme of the 20th anniversary, A Journey of Celebrations.